All right, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about um, creating snippets and how I use the tasks and notifications. So it's actually very, very, very convenient. There are lots of ways to do this, but I think that in street, for me, it is just hands down easiest way to do this. So we always talk about creating scripts and having a base of scripts so that when somebody asks you about Shakeology or about your journey or about um, you know where you've come from, you already have these things written out. Obviously, you're going to personalize them for each person you send them to, but the information in them should be the same across the board. So we're going to pretend like I just moved this uh, box into my interested challengers and prospects. So what I'm going to do now, let's go over where we're at. So right now, a couple of days ago, let's say that I had messaged her, thanking her for liking my workout video. She had responded back to me that she is also trying to start working out again. Uh, I messaged her back to see what she is currently doing. You always want to keep track of your conversation so that you know where you're at with that combo. Um, the next day, she told me that she got Insanity Max 30 on eBay a year ago. I invited her to my challenge group that I have starting here in a couple of weeks, and I asked her if she wanted more information about what a challenge group is all about. So let's pretend like today is the seventh, and she said yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and update this note. She wants more info on challenge group, geez. All right, sent vid. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm just going to click, and this is the amazing thing about snippets. So I'm gonna click on the email address. It's gonna already bring out this box. And then I go down here where my snippets are. I click here and then I wanna find the snippet that I want to send to her. So I'm gonna send her this here where I know, you'll know when you create your snippets, obviously what you're going to call them. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this one to her. I always like to add their names, these are people, so the more information you have, use it, use their names. You wanna show that you're talking to them. So this is my challenge group video. Basically, this is what I wanna say, and it's done, that's it. I'm sending her all that information. I click send, done. How easy is that? So then I wanna make sure that I come down here, and I want to, uh, what was sent, I emailed her that video. So this is usually blank, obviously, but when I come back, I'm gonna just wanna write in here, emailed, what is a challenge group video? Simple, simple, simple. How crazy is that? So you have to create those snippets. And let me show you how to do that. So let's pretend like I'm doing a new message. I'm gonna create one here. So, Following up to see if you have my email. Email about the All right, so let's pretend like this is a an email that I want to send out. So I'm going to subject a quick follow up and I'm just going to send this to myself because I don't really want to send it to anybody right now. So I'm going to do this. This is my Y stamp. So this is something that if you look at um, the video that I posted in my notes, these notes that you can um, go ahead and print off, the link to this is in your uh, or in the comments of this video, uh, Mandy Abney shows you and tells you how to get this stamp. It's called a Y stamp. It's 
and it's free and it's super easy to use. So I just created this video and I want to make, or I just created this uh, snippet and I want to keep it. I want to make this into a template. It's going to become a script. So what I do is I click here on the snippet button and I want to create snippet from this current message. And I click on that. I give it a name. Let's just say this is the first follow-up snippet. Um, first follow-up snippet example. That way I'll know what it is. All right. I always like to delete this here because it's going to add it in when you add a snippet into your email. So you always want to take that out here. And then it's done. And then now this snippet is finished and you just send it off and it's good to go. And then when you want to go back in and you want to find it, that snippet was first follow up right here. So it's right here. That's the one that we just created just now. And now you have that snippet. Say so you wanted to send it to someone else, it's right there. All you gotta do is add somebody's email address in there. Very, very easy. If you wanna manage or switch up and change your snippets, you just go into manage snippets, you choose the one that you would like to um, adjust and you go through there that way. I actually kinda gotta clean these out a little bit. But you can make as many snippets as you want. There are no limits at all. So I find snippets are lifesavers. All right, so I've gone ahead and I sent that email out. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I follow up with her in a couple of days. I'm gonna give her a couple of days to watch that video. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a task, and that's right here. So you just click Task Reminder. I'm going to choose, I'm going to give her a couple of days, so if today is this day, I'm going to go, well, try not to work on Sundays, so I'm going to go Monday, 9 a.m., all right? And then you just enter out, and now you've got a task has been created, and you'll see a follow-up is due in three days, and what's going to happen is in your inbox, you are actually going to receive a message from streak notifications like this one right here, right? And it's going to remind you that you are supposed to follow up with that person. So it makes it so much easier. Your follow-up is so much easier to keep track of. Really, as long as you're using those tasks, it really is just a no-brainer. Now, if you don't want to pay for using the tasks or the notifications, you don't have to. Another way to get around that is by using these, uh, these uh, columns here, or these stages here. First follow-up, second follow-up, third follow-up. And that is when your number of days in stage, where is that? Why is it not letting me move it? Right here, days in stage. So that's when this becomes really important because if you have this box in the first follow-up stage for a week, you know, seven days, then you're probably gonna wanna move it into the next follow-up. So that's why number of days is an important part. So technically you can use Streak for completely free and you don't have those tasks. I personally think that it's worth the $39.95, I think is what it is each month, because it does have all of those extra options, which are awesome. They really are absolutely awesome. All right, so that's how you uh, create your snippets, and that is how you create your tasks. All right, we'll see you in the next video.